Welcome to the Chillingly Bored Podcast, where we're going to make sure and start making this a regular thing. By the way, there should be at least two more videos up this week, maybe three if I get to it. And because of our, and that's because of our absence, or my absence, sorry. Anyhow, I would like to thank Leonardo Roca Marquez for commenting on my videos lately. Dude, it's really meant a lot, and it really does mean a lot so if you guys could also would like to get a shout out or if you guys would like to get that shout out be sure to comment and I'll see who I can fit in but since it's only uh, Marquez he's the only one so I'll see how many I can fit in if we start getting more and I'll be responding to them and doing shout outs regular regularly for now sorry if I'm coughing uh, there's bumps and stuff, my knees up on the table and everything like that. Uh, we're trying to be professional as, ca as we can, but I still make mistakes. Other than that, thank you to Rebel Role Players as well for the host last time on stream and for just being amazing and joining our streams when you can. Before we get started, if you have any suggestions on how to make it better, please do. It... We want to make this the best experience for you as viewers. Also, if you do fan art or fairly fan fiction, anything like that, send it over. On the Facebook page or just message, because fairly I'm a sucker for that kind of stuff and we'll look at it all. So again, thank you and I do hope you enjoy Into the Odd. Now, before we get all into the journey, what is Into the Odd? Now the best way I can explain it is if Fallen London, Sunless Seas, and Darkest Dungeon, along with a little bit of Warhammer Fantasy, had a baby. So be ready for Dark Fantasy at its lightest and finest. Because this system is light and fast and it is amazing. Finally got the full PDF to run it, and fairly you don't need the full PDF. Go quick up, go pick up that pick quick start and play it. It's fun and its combat is amazing. This system and its combat is a fine point. When you get into the combat, whatever happens and whatever is said, the consequences are hard to avoid unless the players make the right choices and prepare, and prepare for it. It allows for a lot of creativity and fun when slaughtering monsters. So, into the odd. <clears throat> this world is too large for explorers to map, and too old for academics to record. Expeditions return from each direction with tales of bizarre places, wondrous and horrific. Our players are explorers, braving the unknown in the search of riches, fame, knowledge, and power. Most of all, you seek arcana, strange devices holding and hosting unnatural powers beyond technology. They range from the smallest ring to vast machines. Citizens flock to Bastion, or Bastion. Its vast factories provide dangerous but dependable work, and its stocks and guns, chemicals, and newspapers to distant neighbors. Beneath the city, the underground stretches just as far. Sewers twist into tunnels, hiding ancient caves and forgotten vaults. Fallen cities are adorned with statues of starmen. Cultists worship metal gods, and belligerent unions prepare for a cosmic invasion. Familiar landscapes are overrun by strange weeds. Corrosive mists creep in from the sea, and the jet black mountains watch from the horizon. This odd world has been affected by beings much, much stranger than humans. Now, this is kind of like Lovecraft meets dark fantasy and I absolutely love it so I hope you are as excited as I L let's introduce the players Olivia go for it who are you I am me Olivia howdy there you go why don't you uh, describe your character for us my good friend um my <laughs> My my character is a five six redheaded woman 
who mainly wears fur clothing because yes, why not? She has a bow strapped on her back with a quiver and a spear and a halberd somehow strapped back there too. So a dagger at her belt. Awesome, awesome. Before everything else, both of the characters, by the way, are from past campaigns. That spear is a dragon spear. It is or it is not a dragon spear. It is a finely oriented spear that has dragons marking along it along it. It may be Arcana. It may not. We'll see where things go. I took it off the wall. He, Some guy's he, mansion. He took it off Dracula's wall in a mansion. It was crazy. I have sticky fingers. It was pretty cool. Anyways, Drag, who are you? I am me. What is your character like, my friend? <laughs> <laughs> my character is a medium-sized, well-built man with an, a giant gun, a ferret, and a long leather jacket. Alrighty then. Good enough. Yeah, that works. <clears throat> Now, you may be wondering what my picture is, or you probably know already what it's from if you've played a certain game, but I won't mention it because if you get the reference and who the character is, I tip my hat to you because he is awesome. But his character is will come along a bit later. Just know I am the referee, and I will be controlling three things. I am essentially the dungeon master, the game master, whatever you wish to call it. But... In this game, I am the referee. I call um, actions and I set the setting. Um, you are on the outskirts of a small, um, small strange town, somewhat far from the Bastion, looking for Arcano or a creature to slay. You are somewhat mercenaries, explorers, as said before. You are right outside of the small town. It is a very misty, dark place. Woods, foggy, a blue light hue, gray. It's quite small. Uh, most people, the very, very first place that they will go is the pub to look for information. So I recommend heading there. But if you guys would like to do anything, do please tell. What do you say? So, pub is best place for information. It is probably the best place to get information on creatures or rumors or anything of that nature. Yes. So, is this town pretty small, I'm guessing? It is. It's quite small. Yeah, the population can't be more than, I don't know. 40. It's really quite small. And any other buildings that like stand out? Yes, there seems to be a chemical shop, uh, an alchemist's shop. My apologies, everybody. There does seem to be an alchemist shop and probably an, a blacksmith that works on things. Uh, a general store of that nature. Yeah. There's a few other places. I would like to visit the blacksmith shop. Alright. Um, I wasn't prepared for you guys to go there. But... Okay. <laughs> that's fine. Uh, you walk in. A man... Hmm. Let's see. Let's, let's make this... This person. He is a... Man clad in somewhat... Uh... You know what? He's probably wearing a leather apron, scraggly black hair, a scar running right across his nose. Um, it looks to you. Welcome! 
how are you today? And kind of waves you on in. Uh, not too many weapons and guns and armor and things are laying around, but the ones that you do see are quite finely crafted. The blades are very, very sharp, and the plate looks finely made. The armor, that is. All right. I'm doing fantastic today, fine sir. I'd like to have an item appraised if I can. Appraised? Of course. What do you need? I'm going to pull out the spear and hand it to him. Hmm. Interesting piece you have here. What would you like me to do? I just want a general appraisal of it, just because it looks more or ornamental than uh, usable in a fight. Hmm. He picks it up, looks to the tip, looks at the fight engraving and everything. While it is ornamental, yes, it does seem to have been used in battle quite a bit. I get a cold feeling just touching the thing. The tip is sharp. I don't even know what metal it's made out of. Strange. It's a very, very fine piece. I would use it for battle. That sounds very acceptable because I just found it flying around and thought someone had misplaced it kind of he raises an eyebrow misplaced <coughs> you to make huh? any excuses <clears throat> I'm guessing this was from an adventure a quest of some sort I don't ask questions my friend don't worry if it is well Arcanum or anything. I'm not interested, but others may be. It's a fine piece. If you know what qualities it has, well, good on you. If you don't, watch out. Some spears, some weapons with Arcanum can be very, very deadly, even to its owner. I could maybe take a look at it, uh, if you'd like, but... I don't want you to feel like I'm stealing such a fine piece from you. And he kind of nods. That won't be necessary, but thanks anyway. I was just curious to know if it would be usable in a fight of any sort. Of course. It is definitely usable in a fight, my friend. Just uh, watch out. Be careful. Thanks for the warning. I'm going to take back the spear and walk out. Alrighty then. And you walk on out. Um, the two other places that are noticeable, like actually really, really noticeable, is the alchemist shop and the pub. So, if that does interest you. Um, you guys do have 50 shillings each, so you guys can go buy stuff if you truly, truly want. Um, the list, the equipment list is so much larger in the full PDF that I sent you guys. So, um, flashbangs, poison, ether, um, acid, antitoxins, things like that. They're very, very useful if you would like to buy. Uh, bombs and rockets and things along that nature too. If you are so interested, that is. What do you say? Uh, I vote we just go to the bar. Just the pub? Cool. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Is yeah, the next works. choice would probably be just go to the pub. Cool, cool. <clears throat> Fresh kegs, cards, and curtain rooms promise solace to the weary and the broken alike. The pub is always the first place to go. These people seem dark, haunted. A man stands, uh, uh, a very uh, chubby man. He's not necessarily chubby. He just seems to be a very, very large man. 
he's a giant compared to you guys. Probably around almost seven feet tall. He's a very, very big man. Arms like tree tr trunks. Uh, large, scraggly beard, bald head, dark eyes. Welcome. And he just kind of waves you on in. I don't see many foreigners foreigners come in here anymore. And kind of just tilts his head to you. There aren't many people in the pub. Maybe one or two. Mm, probably a bit more than that. It's a little bit busier around this time, so maybe around seven people. The only person that you can kind of decipher are two people, which is... Um, man in a fur coat, red, um, scarf, and a man with white hair, and that's, that's all I'll say for now, we'll, we'll get into those two later, but the, uh, bar owner looks at you guys, is there anything that I may help you with on this fine day, and looks to Olivia and Drag. What do you guys say? I think you guys may be muted, by the way. <laughs> I'm trying to think of what the best question to ask would be. I guess it would be, uh, heard any news around about anything suspicious <laughs> going on? You're in the far lands, my friend. There's always suspicious things happening. But, come closer. I may have something to tell you. And he kind of waves his hand. And if you guys, you know, do come closer, he goes, People have been going missing lately. Near some ruins to the northeast. Would you like to know more? You seem like the adventuring type. Creature slayers. All right, then. There have been a few eyewitness accounts of a woman, wavy hair, covered in moonlight and silhouetted in fog. She hummed a, a tune or a melody of some sort. Even a few strings could be heard being plucked at some times. Men mostly go missing, and women adventurers say they have gotten lost in the th thick fog. They say they've seen glowing yellow eyes which made them paralyzed, sleepy. They woke up outside of town, and that's about it. But there have been a few women who have went in and never came back. From who I know who they were, they were dishonest, thugs. There was only one man who came back out. Don't, uh... He doesn't like being bothered about it, and there have been many who ventured there, and he's the only one. He says he won't speak of it no matter what. To who that secret, he says it shall always be Garden, and so should she, but I'm not exactly sure why, or who she is. He goes by the name of Prophet. He's actually here today. A very good and honest man. Though quiet and a little bit strange, he has a good heart. I'm glad he didn't die out there. But that is about all the information I can give you. Watch out for the eyes. That's how... I mean, if they can paralyze the women, I'm sure they can paralyze men too. And he kind of nods to Olivia, and then looks over to Drag. Don't die out there, my friend. It's not worth it. But, you two look like the jaded types. Fought something before. Good luck to the best of you. And, uh, there is a reward for this beast, if you do go and claim it. Her head. And how we know she's a beast? People are sure that people die out there. Almost a hundred percent. Get her head. That's two guilders each. 
That's quite a bit of money. About 200. 200 shillings. So, good luck to the best of you. And he does look at you and he goes, Would you like a drink? By the way. What do you have? We have all sorts of things, my friend. Elixirs, ales, alcohols, things that will lay you out flat. Whatever you choose. But if you're looking for the elixirs, go across the street. Violet is a good woman. She'll know how to treat you right. She'll give you what you need. And if you're looking for companions, dismiss. He's the one to go for. And he points to the man in the red scarf and thick fur hood. Drag? You know who Dismiss is. You've seen him before. You've worked with him. Anyways. Anything? I'd like a mug of ale. Coming right up. I'll make sure it's for free. Just in case you don't come back alive. And he pours you a fine glass of ale. Not confident much. And he looks to you, Drag. How about you? A glass? Connor? Hear me, I will also have ale. Not confident? <laughs> nope. <laughs> Good choice, my friend. And he pours you a glass as well. Like I said, profit and dismiss. Those are the people you want to talk to. And he shakes his head. So, what would you guys like to do? I'd probably like to drink my ale. Alone? You're not going to go speak to anybody? Or anything like that? I know, but... Uh, yeah, I will, but... Where did he say this Prophet guy was? Uh, Prophet's in the bar. He's in the very, very far corner. And Dismiss was the other guy, correct? Yep. He's also in the bar, correct? Indeed. Okie doke. Um... Huh. We should I would like to, to talk to the prophet guy. Okay. But I'd want something to kind of loosen him up a little bit so he's more willing to speak. Alright. That's why he's buying alcohol. Yeah, but I'm not just going to go drop a thing of alcohol in front of him. I was thinking more of like if there was like an elixir or something from what's your name that we could kind of drop a little bit of it into his drink ah uh, so instead of dropping alcohol up. in front of him we just drop a potion and be like drink this punk um you could go talk well, to kind of try and do it like more stealthily so that he doesn't <laughs> notice the fact that he's spiking his drink with okay Something. Best idea ever. So what we do is we take an arrow, we dip it in there, and then we put it on a crossbow and just shoot his drink. The arrow will fly so fast you won't see it. Except for the fact that his drink now either has a hole in it or it's laying on the floor. <laughs> or completely or shattered. <laughs> Millions of pieces. Um, the person you would want to go talk to, by the way, is Violet. She... If you want to get an elixir of some sort, she is probably the one to go to. Then I would like to go speak to Violet. Well, um, we could talk to... What was his name again? Shade, whatever. Dismiss. Uh, Dismiss. Dismiss. We could talk to him because he says I already know him. And so therefore, maybe I could talk to him. And if you, he agrees or whatever. You know Violet too, like... by the way. Just, just... I know I do. You, you know, I don't know anybody. <laughs> hey, freaking idiot. I'm not from around so, here. So, 
I could talk to him, and if he like gets in on it or whatever, he probably knows um, profit. So then, he could just help us talk profit into it. All right. Sound good? Um. Not talking to you. You're the storyteller. I know. <laughs> I'm just seeing what you guys are gonna do. We could go with that. <laughs> okay then. <laughs> to Dismith. Uh, who is talking to Dismas? Is it just you, Drag? Or is it Olivia, too? Well, I'll I'll be there, but I probably won't do a whole lot of talking, because I don't know the guy. Y- okay. You can be my sexy bodyguard. I will shank you <laughs> before I become you. Mm, I'll enjoy it. <laughs> I'm sure you would. I hope you guys know I am definitely not editing this out. <laughs> Okay. okay he likes foreign objects in his body oh god <laughs> oh no stop that don't, don't go there <laughs> by the way everybody I am we are doing this at 1230 at night uh 1240 at night and we still have about <laughs> two more hours to go so uh you just want your own sexy for, shanks be in for one hell of a ride <laughs> um, I don't know who I'm okay. talking to at this point okay you to Dismith <laughs> You approach Dismas. Um, he looks Wait, up to you. How is his name pronounced? Dismas. 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 Dimwit. Um. He is wearing a red, uh, a crimson red scarf, fur at the top of his uh, leather coat. He is also wearing leather gloves. It seems to be blood stained. About everywhere. The white fur is quite extravagant. Um, a flintlock pistol lies at his side, and two daggers. A scar also kind of lines the top of his face, <laughs> or around to the left of his forehead, down to the right side of his chin, but the scarf starts to cover up his mouth. He has pretty dark eyes and seems to have quite a few more scars he seems pretty battle uh battle jaded and he looks up drag it's been a while i'm gonna make a comment on his glove (laughs) gloves been killing cultists again (laughs) if only i had to clear that Got your bastards out. Way too fun, man. I bet. Hunting humans is just getting too easy. Found another job. Something about a... a woman singing or something of that nature. Heard like, anything about it? Well, from the bartender, yeah, but... Like, siren kind of thing? Ah, uh, I've dealt with sirens before. And he, he, to Olivia, he loves showing off his scars, and he pulls up the... Siren on his arm. Siren pull, bite or whatever it is. Yeah, he pulls up the sleeve on, on his arm, and you see, like, suck marks. Almost like serrated hickeys. teeth. Yeah, serrated teeth hickeys, essentially. And he goes... <laughs> um, he looks up and he goes, You never want to be caught by sirens. It's lucky I got away. <laughs> I actually pull out my belt knife and start flipping it in my hands while eyeing him s- skeptically like determining whether or not to like lop parts of his body off <laughs> he looks up and he goes you're too cautious I never heard a woman like you don't worry more than once <laughs> he looks over to drag you like cut out on my end oh he goes, I'd never heard a woman like you. Trust me. i never heard a woman in general. Unless she's a filthy monster. Such as a stupid siren. And he stabs Ooh, one of his daggers into the table. Sorry about that. And he puts it back in his belt. <laughs> Anyways. So, wait. He stabs his knife into the table. Yeah, and he looks over to the bartender. And the bartender gives him a glare. Yeah, I was going to be like, isn't the bartender going to yell at him or something? Because I'd be ticked off if someone shoved a knife in my dining table, whatever. Dismas does look at the bartender and he goes, 
you'll know I pay for it. I do every single time. Just put a coin <laughs> in the knife. <laughs> the knife jar. How often stab his table? Stab table jar. I approve. <laughs> um. Anyways, uh, heard anything? Or is there anything you'd like to know? I'd like to know, you know. I'd like to know, you know. <laughs> I'd like yeah. to know where we could find this thing, you know. Maybe get a little help like last time. Yeah, of course. I can trust you. You didn't shoot me in the back of the head last time. So, yeah, sure. I mean, I did give you my boat after all. Um, yeah. I could uh, be your guide through the Barren Lands. It's uh, a little bit northeast, so I've heard. The creature itself I haven't heard too much of, so I wouldn't know too much about that, but I have a few precautions, a few things ready. I may have to go talk to Violet uh, in a bit, so if you would so care to join me in case you need anything. Um, yeah, that's about it. So, have you talked to this profit person you know I have he's a really kind guy and trust me that's me saying something and he quiets his voice he's a little bit weird though he uh thinks monsters has souls or something like they should be cared about or he's a whack job but kind kind guy don't get me wrong he's a little bit quiet um I haven't talked to him much I want to hunt on him earlier against something it was a few months ago but uh well, yeah well the bartender told me that apparently he has some experience with the creature really he gets a shit eating eating grin on his face oh uh, that I... sounds nasty <laughs> <laughs> he looks up at you that's good uh we may be able to talk to him. Though, it is profit. Not exactly sure how he would care too much. Like I said, he's a little bit weird. Aren't we all? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we no, are. Not all a little bit weird. Some of us more than most. As I, I, the dismiss. Hmm. He, if I said that, I'd I am your... He does look at the siren bites and he goes, You think these were intentional, don't you? Uh... If you're willing to get that close to a siren and let her sink her teeth in you, there's something wrong with your head. I like a challenge, miss. I like to use the dagger. I was out of flintlock bullets. What can I say? And he raises his eyebrows. Kind of in a questioning manner like, I know what I'm doing. I'm just gonna shrug, like, nonchalantly. Just like, whatever floats your boat. Just. He looks at you in kind of a neutral uh, glance and he goes, I don't want to be, uh, Shady, but uh, we could get Prophet to talk. And oh, so. he smirks. Violet's a good friend of mine. Uh, Drag knows her as well. Not sure if you guys had the idea yet, but uh, she's quite fine with elixirs. Hmm. Can I brew up some truth serum? You could say that. Or torture. Oh, no, 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 no. If that's method. No. Interrogation <laughs> was last time, my friend. Uh, cutting fingers off... So of much fun. Look, cutting fingers off of profit isn't something I'm into. I don't want to hurt an in innocent guy like that. And he puts it in parentheses. He's a nice guy. I... He's also a friend, so... Nice guys finish last as wild people. Copyright strike. 
I <laughs> they won't notice. <laughs> what have you done? Alright. FBI, open up! <laughs> uh, good old YouTube. Um, anyways, yeah. Oof, itchy. Okay, well then, let's go. Um, do you guys all follow Dismiss along to Violets? Well, of course. Okay. Unless, um, what's your character's name again? Olivia. Unless Olivia wants to, like, stay in the corner and, like, keep an eye on Prophet so that he won't leave. I'm not going to stay in the corner. I'm going to watch the outside. Watch okay. from outside, like, across the street in an alley or something. Oh, okay. Yeah, sure. That's simple enough. And then I will go with Dismiss. Uh, Dismiss practically walks in the alchemist shop like he owns the place. Violet! <laughs> What do you want? And you see a quite charming woman. Probably can't be more than 20. She seems like a very, very calm and neutral woman. Um, jaded eyes that are a icy blue, almost gray with some lilac purple springing forth. She has a scar on her upper lip. She looks quite serious, but like she can also be very, very kind. A plague doctor's mask hangs at her throat and a hood is placed over her head. Um, her hair comes out in short wavy curls in the color of jet black. Hi there. Hey, is that who I think it is? The one and only. How have you been, drag? Ever since the Kraken... Uh, hope you're not too shaky about monster hunting anymore. <laughs> nope. I got a thrill to kill. I mean, you practically walked up to that thing before you, uh, stabbed it, so. Oh, it know, also right? touched you on the chest, which is kind of creepy, but, ugh. Never mind. Yeah, it's kind of a perv. Anything you need? <laughs> Um, shh, why do I keep forgetting his name? Uh, Dismiss or Prophet? Dude, bro. Okay, um, uh, Dismiss is the one with the plan. Dismiss walks forward. I know you're not into the shady things, especially with Prophet. And he scratches the back of his head like he knows something. And her calm, neutral face gets a smile. And then it suddenly <laughs> turns to a frown and her eyes turn back to neutral. What are you planning to do, Dismas? You better not be hurting, Prophet. No, 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 no. Not this time. Nothing like that. Um, <laughs> I mean, I kept him safe last time after the harpies, so, you know, don't don't kill me yet. Look, he, uh, you know how he is with the whole souls with monsters thing. And she gives him a like a condescending look like excuse me of course I know and he's like oh sorry um anyways we gotta get him to talk about this new creature it's it's a new job and it has quite a bit of pay but he doesn't seem to be opening up about it from what the others tell me we need something to loosen his lips per se she frowns a very, very big frown. He's got to have a reason for it, right? Why do you want to make him talk so bad? <laughs> and <laughs> Why not? <laughs> look, just because you say my ass last time, this is the only reason I'm doing it. But you hurt him? And I'm cutting something off of you. And she just gives him a blank stare. And Dismiss looks down. Yeah, and you mean it too. Alright. Of course. And she gets a small vial off of the shelf. And she goes, 50 shillings. 50 shillings of grey. Oh god. <laughs> 
If I was in there, I'd slap you in the face. <laughs> but you're not. <laughs> she hands it to Dismas, and he looks over to you. Ain't my job. I'm just coming along. Can you do ten? You guys both have fifty. So. I know, but fifty. And so, if I can save, you know, ten shillings, that's good enough for me. Forty-five. He's saying he'll pay forty-five? Oh, no. She'll pay forty-five. Uh, or, no, she's telling you guys to pay forty. Oh, I, I get uh, what you were asking. You were asking Dismas to pay ten. Gotcha. Yeah, um, that's what... But, yeah, yeah, forty-five. I like the sound of that. Uh, Dismas looks over and he goes... You're a stingy bastard, drag. Stingy, stingy bastard. And he th flicks uh, ten, ten, like a uh, ten chilling over to her. And she catches it. I mean it. Don't you hurt him. Then I guess I do the other 35. <laughs> <laughs> you mean the, uh, the other 40? <laughs> no, she, she did 10. Yep. I'm going back to 50, my friend. Oh, hey, no. <laughs> no, no, hey, no. no. All right, all right. 35, 35. <laughs> Whatever. Good. I would. And she looks at you guys and she goes, finger in, put it in the drink, and that's it. That's all you have to do. You pour this whole thing in and he'll practically be telling you about everything. And she shudders. Please don't make him do that and he'll know I did it. <laughs> and us in the bathtub and woo nearly huh? <laughs> like <laughs> alright off you go unless you need something else Small million dollars. yeah you're not getting that sweetheart <laughs> <laughs> ooh um <laughs> Can I get a kiss goodbye? You slap in the face. She, <laughs> she gives you a big frown. Drag? No. Only on the cheek. I'm saving it for someone else. And she winks at you. <laughs> and she, uh -huh. she flips you off as she goes back to working on the shelves. <laughs> wow. Dude, this is dark fantasy. If you guys are not expecting this by now, it's going to be crude humor all the way through. If I was in there, I'd probably have, like, been hitting on her. <laughs> oh, and then she looks back. If you guys need someone, I'm willing to come along. And she smiles. <laughs> I'm not sure you, you made Frank sad and I pet my ferret on the head. <laughs> oh no, I absolutely love Frank. And then she kind of like walks over and kind of waves to him. Like, oh, bends over. I was totally uh, expecting her to like walk up, kiss Frank on the that's, forehead. And, like, that's walk. exactly what she does. I was about to say it. Oh, you little hoe. <laughs> she kisses him on the head. Hey, Frank. And she kind of like pets him. And then she goes back to her neutral gaze. Mm, I'm gonna I'm gonna <laughs> kiss Frank on the forehead and just stare at her and be like indirect. She walks out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I I leave with this myth. Uh she did you guys want her to come with? Is she following along behind you? Mm. I guess this is more up to, like, Dismas says it's fine, but I guess it's up to you. I guess I will talk with Netherius. I forgot the name. It's Olivia. How the hell do you guys keep forgetting my name? <laughs> no, I'm, rem I'm remembering it. It's just... I okay. I, huh? I have trouble with names in real just life. Just... just Stop adding more names. Okay. okay. So I go out and talk to Olivia <laughs> and ask her what she wants. 
what do you mean what do I want? I if you there. want um <laughs> who's her back to join our team? Violet. Violet. She she's she's helped me before. She gave us some pretty dope potions and she she had like an amazing explosive bomb potion that like dealt a lot of damage. And so it could be good. Unless you don't wanna have like cat fight. Or she could join and then you could hit on her. <laughs> um she can join, I don't care. Okay. More than more. I I'm just gonna like lean in the store of the shop and be like, You coming? <laughs> she put as she starts to slide her doctor's mask on, a huge smile gets on her face, and she grabs her big doctor's bag and starts hurrying out, and she goes, I hate to ask, is Prophet coming along? I'm not sure. It depends on what he says. Sounds good. And she uh, waits outside of the store. <laughs> to the bar with Dismith. All right. Um, Olivia, you're, you are joining them, correct? No, I'm gonna stay outside and watch okay. the bar. <laughs> Ooh, you can you can hit up. That, that was that was sarcasm, by the way. Oh, <laughs> I, but I can tell. I can I can stay I can stay outside with Violet. I don't, I don't care. <laughs> Whatever you like, my friend. <laughs> I'm gonna stay outside with Violet then. All right, sounds good. Hold on, I'm gonna try to get this picture so people can see. All right, um, you guys get in the bar because I really love this picture. Whoever did this picture of Violet is so cool. Flip in um, this episode, I feel like it's gonna be so much more entertaining than the rest of them. <laughs> right? I feel like it's really, really good so far. Maybe we should do all our episodes at 1 a.m. Exactly. Wow. Perfect. Yeah. Uh. Sure. <laughs> oh, it's not. not. Yeah, uh, <laughs> that's what I'm thinking. <laughs> Fuck no. <laughs> Hold on. Let me. This might take a little bit of work. Here. Right, real quick. Uh, this, this. I'm gonna send you the picture, Adam, so that I can pull it off because it's in a Google. Do what? Excuse me. You freaking suck at this. What? Excuse me? Thing? What are you doing? Uh, this is really not working with me. Oh, this is great. Uh, hey, um, quick question. Yeah, what's up? Uh, I didn't hear any intro music. Uh, I did play some. So you might want to check, might want to recheck your, check your audio, because... Oh, uh, you yeah, guys I don't know if it couldn't or not. hear it, because it was playing on YouTube for me, and me only. <laughs> And I okay. was playing through. Yep. I see how it is. Sorry. By the way, you you say I suck at getting names wrong, but you freaking called me Adam. Oh, I'm sorry, man. I'm so used to it. <laughs> I said you suck at getting names wrong. Alright. Um, Everyone just a moment names. as I try and find this. It shouldn't be too hard. It is a very, very easy picture to find. Not maybe. Maybe not. I am looking. Yes, no, maybe so. Um, I... Where is it? This is shenanigans. Oh, oh gosh, it is 12 at night and somebody came in and they're like, you're being loud. And I'm like, oh, crap. It's not 12, it's 1. Oh, it's 1. I'm sorry. Oh, way to get me that is you're a little off adorable and I am going to save that picture I am sorry I am absolutely tired god it's such a good picture where is it that's cool that is the like full colored version of it but I like the gray because it looks better I'm sorry uh oof. you know what whatever it's cool. What picture are you looking for? I am looking for the one that I am looking at, which is not a lot of information. She has this, like, really cool hard gaze that I'm trying to explain, and it is just not coming through like the picture. And I am trying to find it currently, and it is just not working out with me. Like, 
I don't. I can't find it. I can't find it anywhere. Yay! So you said you're gonna send me something. Yeah, I tried to do it, and that's the problem that I'm having. Is it didn't send over. Ah. So, hold on. Okey doke. Sorry, everybody. I know I'm super caught up on these, on this, but it, like, yeah, is freaking legit. piece of junk. I know I am. I I, I know. I'm not talking to you. Oh. Oops. Well, that's that's nice. I, I or like how. Else. I like how automatically I am like. I am the piece of junk. Just... Same. Every day. All day. Oof. That is kind of sad. Um, hold on. <laughs> Can you describe yourself with one word? Trash. <laughs> see, senor. Um, see, senor I Baggins. I guess that's more than one word. What? Maybe this will work? No, it will um, not. For you. Suck. I know I do. I am a terrible person. What do you suck? Air? You're oh, a vacuum. I did dirty it! Little. I did it! I, I got it. I'm sorry. It took freaking so long. Congratulations. Alright, everybody. This is what I'm talking about. Somebody... Oh, dude. That is way too big. I'm sorry. This is, what is it? this. That is what I'm talking about by Violet. I'm gonna delete it now. That way, it's not like uh, they don't even know what it is. Um, all right, so there you go. That's that was that. It's probably not as special as you thought, but kudos to you, artist. That is such a cool picture. There you what go. What is it? I'm sending it. <laughs> Chill. <laughs> all right, that's Violet. Anyways, uh, she is absolutely gorgeous, and I had to share that picture. Hello she looks part penguin. You're part penguin. <laughs> Slap you. Tall All right, anyways. Your um, mom's part penguin. It's been like five minutes for me, that picture. I am so sorry, everybody. I'm going to try to edit that out, but I can't promise anything because She's going to fail at it, but whatever. It is hard. <laughs> so good for you. I have noise canceling headphones and I'm being super loud right now. Hi, Mary. Oh, no, I'm being absolutely bitched out by my sister. It's what you get, fool. All right, here we go. All right, sorry about that, everybody. So, into the bar you go. Uh, profit. Um, so, who's all going? Is it just a uh, drag or? I'm it... staying out with Victoria or Violet. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> it's one are in the morning. Okay, sleep? I haven't just slept. Are you, Are you gonna share secrets? Um. Am I gonna share secrets? Victoria you, secrets. You guys make small talk. Um, I must slap the shit out of you. Same. All right, drag, dismiss. You move on forward. I guess I am talking to Dismiss as he is a person. This is how insane I have gotten. Wow. Um, you guys move forward. Come up to Prophet, and Prophet kind of just looks up and nods. Hello. <laughs> I pour the entire bottle in his drink. <laughs> um, Dismiss, before no, that, no. I am sorry, no, Dismiss no, does no. get a drink. It was a joke. No, 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 no. Desmus does go get a drink. That just reminds me. Desmus does oh. get a drink before. Okay. And he dips his finger in the bottle, and he dips it in there. <gasps> Double dipper. And he moves. Sitter. And Oof. you guys move to the table, and he sets the drink, and he goes, for me? Why? Dismiss kind of looks. I have a friend who wants to meet you. Uh, wants to talk about the lady in the mist, essentially. I I don't really want to talk about that, but thank you. Now uh, go ahead, take a seat. Dismiss, and you are. Drag. Nice to meet you, Drag. Um. Prophet is a calm, timid man with a fur coat. 
along with a hood, plate armor overlaid over the thick le leather. His hair is snow white, and a long sword is carried on his back. His ears seem longer than normal, and line curving tattoos rung along, along oh, his arms. It's, oh, no, it's Legolas's twin brother. No. Wrong reference, my friend. Um, <laughs> uh, lined, curving tattoos run along his arms and even up to his chin. They are light and white, almost like scars. So, and as he says that, he takes a sip. Only a sip. Um, what did you want to know? I want to know. Um. <laughs> I probably can't tell you much, but I'll do the best I can. Just general things like location and any special things about the he, person in the mist? He looks down to the table. Um, yeah. I can tell you some. Uh, I don't want to, but she, she's to the northeast ruins. They seem Greek by nature. Um, many pillars. There is a, a roof, that a hole in the roof of the Colosseum, or I guess it would be a temple. That's about all I can tell you. Um, she seems to be a good bowman. She could hit you from a mile away. Um, I'm not really sure else what to tell you. And he takes another sip. Anything special around these ruins? Um, or like... There's a lot of statues. A lot of statues. Um, the one atop the outcrop of rock has Athena written on the bottom. I have no idea what it means. Um, her face and her statue is crumbled. Whoever was put up as that statue, whoever Athena is, must have been a great lady of the time. Must have been a, an empress or something of the sort. That's all I can really tell. Uh, the statues, though, a lot of them have their faces cut off. But that's that's really all I know. And he takes another sip. Um. <clears throat> anything specific? Any weird creatures around the creatures? No, I guess she would be a creature herself. Though I, I really can't tell you what she looks like. She's only speaking to me through the fog. I've never seen her eyes. She was kind. She didn't speak to me. Hummed. I... I tried to teach her how to speak through uh, hands. And he uh, tries to do a few symbols in the air. Uh, you probably wouldn't know it. It's stupid anyways. Um, I would send letters by crow and they would go in drop the letters and that's all I never seen her face would the crows return of course okay um... nothing <sighs> would come back of course but I tried Would you be willing to guide us there? Of course. I would be grateful. And he picks up his sword and he downs the drink. Thank you for the drink. It'll be a definitely a fun journey. Especially with you, Dismas. And he gives a small smile. You definitely know how to make things a little bit more exciting. And hopefully drag... You will do the same. You seem like a kind man. Off we go. And he picks up the great sword. The great sword is strange. It is a full steel piece. It does not seem to be um, 
different parts. It is a full steel piece. Um, there is a small cross piece in the middle, almost not uh, the middle, but lower of the blade, as it is a great sword. And he has leather, like black, dark leather wrapped around the handle with some white leather overlaying it. And that's it. The blade does seem to have the same kind of curves, um, like his tattoo has, like two lines with curves running up. I wish I could describe it a little bit better, but imagine kind of two lines going up the blade and it curling up at the top, and then they start, uh, some more come out and start to curl. And small dots are in between each of like the little curls. And he picks it up, puts it on his back, and he whispers something underneath his breath. And he goes, let's go. And he throws the hood up over his head. He walks out. And, um... Violet, you notice this, by the way. Uh, Dismiss and, um... Drag don't. But Olivia, you definitely notice this. As she's kind of making small talk, she seems pretty neutral... As soon as um, they exit, she immediately straightens her back, and you could probably tell she's smiling underneath the the uh, Plague Doctor's mask. She immediately perks up as Prophet walks out the door. <laughs> um. Oh, Velvet, you're coming along. Velvet. Oh. You, I thought it was Violet. Oh, dude, you've got me saying Velvet now. Uh, Violet, you're coming along? And she Red kind of like... Red Velvet cake. Uh, actually... ice cream. Oh, just, okay. So, you guys tasty. are going to get get a taste into my just taste of everything in general. <laughs> as um, <laughs> Ruby and everything. But, essentially, um, Connor is making absolute fun of me right now because... One, that is actually what I meant to name her as Velvet. Because, um, Velvet from Ruby, the bunny-eared girl, is absolutely adorable. But my favorite girl is Neapolitan, Neo. But, uh, let's get off that subject. If anybody <laughs> wants to draw absolute adorable fan art of Neo and send it to me, I'm not complaining. Or Velvet, you know, just send it on over we don't, we don't have to talk about it. He wants that nasty shit. We're no, open. I want the cute, adorable <laughs> shit. Please don't send me nasty shit. I don't need that in my life. <laughs> don't listen to him. <clears throat> Anyways, we're going to skip past that, and it shut never up. happened. No, I won't shut up, Mary. I love you, but shut up. That's what I know and loves me. Maybe you should wear your headphones with one of the headset yeah, thing covering your ear and the other one not. So you, oh, hold on, let me turn myself up that way. That's better, and I can speak a little bit quieter. Okay. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I'm sorry. Um, someone doesn't seem to like you very much. No, she does not. Um. Anyways, um, perks up. Um, and he looks at all of you and he goes, this is quite a, quite the expedition we have going here. This should be a successful venture. <coughs> well, I guess we're off to see the wizard, the wonderful wizard of the brick road of yellow. Um, Prophet <laughs> smiles and he starts walking forward. Well, can I smack him in the back of the head? Oh, yes, please do. <laughs> you smack him right upside the back of the head. With the I'm sorry I butchered it. You don't have to hurt me. It's not that you butchered it, it's the fact that you started it. <laughs> Next time, it's not going to be with my head, it's going to be with the butt of my spear. Ooh, ow, frick, frick, ow, ooh, ow, ooh, no, no, no. I got a Charlie verse in my leg. <laughs> Shut up. And sleep with me, come on. Did you sleep? <laughs> Copyright strike. 
<laughs> I'm sorry. I like basically <coughs> alone. Oh, that freaking hurt so much. All right. Anyway, <laughs> you guys move along the road. Uh, there were a few things that I wanted to do, but uh, we'll have one event. About halfway to the ruins, we meet more cultists. You hear a ukulele playing. And a man drops from the tree in front of you guys. He is wearing a jester's outfit, a white mask, bells jingle from the top of his head. If you guys want to know what he looks like, he looks like the guy from Darkest Dungeon, if that's what I'm getting a lot of this from. Um, He drops down. Well, hello. I am so tempted just to shoot him in the face right now for no good reason. <laughs> that sounds like something I would do. I guess we've played together too long. Or are you just like stealing my ideas? Shut up. Okay, um, how's it going, sir? Not too bad. Not too shabby. But look, I need some help with something. You'll get something in return if you can recover it for me. You seem to be on the right path. And he strums the ukulele. Would it happen to be a red lizard? Excuse me? nothing. Even you got um, this jester fooled. What would this thing we would so happen to be getting? A certain woman decided to steal my golden ukulele. This one one this one one just doesn't feel quite right. I'd like it back. And what would we get in return? That depends on the shape it comes back in, friend. You know, uh, maybe one or two scratches. What would we get? You no, know, just curiosity. Arcanum, friend. Arcanum. And his voice goes darker. Arcanum of the best kind. Because I know what that is. Uh, uh, it's like your I, I, guys' I, stuff, yeah. Strux. So, by the way. For people who don't know what Arcanum is, it is very, very <laughs> special, special thing. Um, it is essentially super awesome magic items that never run out. They're super good. Adam's wooden stick that he likes to play with. Oof, Adam. That squirts right away, randomly. <laughs> <clears throat> it's a necklace. And it has crystal in it, and it helps magic. Okay, just <laughs> you're bad at explaining it. Okay, continue. <laughs> um, Adam's Arcanum Shut up. is a red oil stave. Uh, the best I can explain it is two small wooden esque. Uh, how do I? Rectangular pieces, and in the middle is a clear crystal with blue liquid stream through it. If you're wondering what it looks like, you can probably just look up like resin wood necklaces or something like I that, and you'll that. find something. Okay. I'll show it right now. Okie doke. There you guys go. I thought you had. I thought you That's had the oil is. stave for your. That is what his oil stave looks like. And it essentially shoots out this red oil that makes uh, people slip. And it's... It, we may be able to see it in a little bit here. So, um, <clears throat> when the deed is done, where would we happen to find you? Now I'll be right there, friend. I'm everywhere and anywhere. Trust me, I know when you'll get it. So you're a stalker, then? 
I might not just be human, friend. Hmm. I totally vote we give it to him and then murder him immediately after we get the magic items. <laughs> that was the joke. <laughs> <laughs> just the <laughs> corpse. <laughs> well, I vote we go and get yeah, it. I have if... a bad habit of provoking supernatural creatures. <laughs> so, you probably shouldn't. <laughs> we should totally go get it, but then if we don't get what we want, we can totally just murder him, get what we want off of him, and then go sell the golden ukulele. So everybody, what you're experiencing now is murder hobos. <laughs> we murder are not hobo. murder hobos. We have homes, so therefore we're like murder enthusi enthusiasts. There you go, murder enthusiasts, everybody. It's our hobby. <laughs> It's, it's, it's not a weekend. hobby. It's just a very enjoyable pastime. Yes. Murdering random strangers that drop out of trees randomly, playing stupid instruments that look really stupid. Exactly. It's like not they something just, you do every day. This you enjoy it. inside of me to just stab look, repeatedly. What do you say? <laughs> I can already read what's inside your head, friend. Keep going. I don't care. I just want my ukulele play. Back. Technically, yeah, it's yeah, pronounced yeah. ukulele. <laughs> I might have to punch more smack in the face today. Again. <laughs> okay. So, uh, we accept the quest, and we will retrieve your golden ukulele. Good friend. And remember, <laughs> friend A. If you cross, oh, you suck so. <laughs> Can I smack him in the back of the head with the butt of my spear? Yeah, actually. <laughs> oh, will he see to do so? It's not gonna do any damage, but you hit him in the back of the head with your spear. I don't want it to do any damage. You just want to smack him in the back of the head with it. So, by the way, as you hit him in the back of the head with your spear. You don't want to let go of your spear. It feels really good to hit him in the back of the head with your spear. <laughs> it feels really good. <laughs> I have a feeling it might die this episode. <laughs> okay. Mm. He hits me, she hits me in the back of the head and I turn around mm. and just be like, you're jealous I'm not talking about you. <laughs> Can I proceed? To hit him in the kneecap with it now? It Could I proceed to dodge? <laughs> <laughs> this is going to He hits you in the knee and it hurts a lot. And when you turn around, <laughs> you try to dodge and fall on your face. The gesture is gone. And you guys move forward. Really like okay. To this up. So, <laughs> You're just like, ooh, I have to stop this now. Yep. All right, you guys move forward. <laughs> you guys get to the edge of the forest, coming upon the Greek ruins as much as I can describe it. Name strikes you fast, forgettable as much. I'd say the name because I can see it now, and it just makes way too much sense. It strikes you as much as the fog rolls in. Like tides, pillars stand tall, some knock to the ground. While the night starts to fall, an outcropping of rock juts out over the ruins. A crumbled statue stands above that reads Athena. Seems it has crumbled a long, long time ago. You walk forward. Arrows stick in some of the pillars while swords are pierced into the ground. Little marks are on the blades. One then two, then three, and they start going up, until all the blades are covered. Coins are strewn about, here and there, not much. There is about ten shillings worth, so whoever wants that, go for it. Me. All right, I want it. I paid for the potion. I'm getting this. I'm a greedy person. Each of you get five That's why shillings. I got the spear in the first place. 
both of you get he, he can have the 10 shillings i have 50 still oh, okay. <laughs> shut up <laughs> you get to the entrance of the temple two uh statues of women are there there are statues of women in rows and their faces are cut off shattered among the marble ground <clears throat> the two massive statues leading you into the entrance is just as the same faces cut clean off or maybe broken off it's hard to tell the entrance leads in to the outcropping of rock leading into the crumbled ruins as you walk in statues stand here and there though they are not made of marble but stone all are men clothes and weapons still hang on them but they seem of little value for now maybe they may amount to something after the battle but carrying them now would be nothing but a hassle so these are tiny statues of mm, men no 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 they are life-size statues Looks then why did you say carry them? How in the no, frick no, no, are we no, no, supposed no, no. to I'm, carry life-size stone statues of men? The weapons and clothing, my friend. Ah, I have a feeling that those aren't like statues, but like dead warriors that came to fight her, and they like it's Medusa. A humming melody and light strings can be heard from the hollow center. You he didn't answer me, it's Medusa. You walk out. You are on the fifth floor. Essentially how I can describe it is there is a hollow center and there are five stone, stone floors. Each of them are like catwalks and spiral staircases lead down. It is a very, very big area and the catwalks, when I say catwalk, I mean literal floors probably spanning 20 feet out. You cannot see all the way to the bottom. Um, as you enter though you can see a silhouette of a woman her hair wavy as she hums a melody and as she hums this melody prophet starts humming along perfectly in tune as you Look on the walls, scrawled notes are on them. Most seem to be hand signs marking into the alphabet of common or English. More statues can be seen. Each start to have certain parts breaking off of them. Arms, head, and most of them have an arrow stuck where the heart is. Um, I want to know what you guys do. Prophet? shrugs mm. I think I'm just gonna like let Prophet go first since he like seems to know her or whatever or like have a connection just kind of like be a bit behind him like slowly following but like try not to draw attention to myself by being too sneaky or whatever <laughs> oh, okay. he says I'm going to walk down the stairs. I'm going to go to the bottom floor. I have the two-hander. She is incredibly quick from what I know. So, follow me if you will. If you are close range. If you are long, stay behind. Choose a floor. Do whatever you will. She is dangerous, my friends. In that case, I'm going to stay back. Uh, what floor? I guess how many floors are there again? Uh, there are five. It is a incredibly big place. I'm going to head to the third floor and pull out my bow. Dismas looks to Violet. Violet, what, what do you want to do? She kind of shrugs her shoulders. I'd like to go with Prophet, but I'm the one who has the potions. Uh, would you guys like me to stay with one of you? And she looks to Olivia and Drag. So that's you two. Go with Olivia. She's weak. 
I'm going to loose an arrow at his feet. I scurry off quickly. <laughs> That's fine with me. Then she kind of sits next to you. Or I guess takes a knee rather than sitting. And Dismas looks to Prophet. I don't trust this guy. God damn it. I'm going with him. And he runs down. Now, because you guys are not going to her, I at least want to describe her because I think I did somewhat of an okay job. Um, the fog kind of slowly rolls away as Prophet takes a few steps towards her. Um, as you peek down, you see a graceful, beautiful woman. Her face cannot be seen, and her hair is thick, waving mass of green. Different greens. Her torso is completely uncovered, and her perfect hourglass form is exposed. She seems to be sitting. Maybe, maybe, but the fog and the light, rain falling from the open roof of the Colosseum make it remain to be seen. A golden uke is in her arms and a golden engraved bow with a moonlight butterfly is strewn across her back. The string is incredibly thin and the quiver of arrows shows that they are the same ones in the bodies of the statues, golden and turquoise. Suddenly a hissing can be ha a hissing sound can be heard. Her hair mass of snakes crumbled pillars statues everywhere perfect for cover I knew it pulling back the mass of snakes on her head they seem to be gorgeous scaled vipers probably soft to the touch little yellow eyes each of them when he approaches she does not scream or screech like most of them most of those creatures do it to assert their dominance. Instead, she slings the uke down on her back, gets her bow, and as she tilts her head back to look towards Prophet, you can see a large bandage, almost, and an X covering her mouth as she tilts her head and draws an arrow. Prophet, you don't hear it, but he whispers. I'm sorry, my love. Let us end your curse. And may we meet once again. And he draws his weapon. I'm going to let her have the first turn. She immediately looks at Prophet. He is not looking her in the eyes. He is smarter than that is looking at her torso as much as he is flaring up in red because Prophet is a little cinnamon bun. He, <laughs> he is going to draw his blade and he is going to be ready. She pulls back her bow and fires. This is a d6. So one and one. Which arm does she have her bow in? Uh, her left, so she is drawing the arrow in her right. Um, okay. She seems hesitant. She seems unsure. And she only does one damage. Who gets the next turn? Uh, I'm gonna think of that right now. Profit minus one. Um, he kind of stumbles back blade in hand and she also gets a movement so essentially what I'm going with is she gets one attack and one movement depending on how her HP is so she goes and slithers up to the second floor you can tell her torso is a very long python like tail the same color and scales as the vipers but more for constricting and it takes up her lower body. She slithers up to the second floor and takes cover. I will let you guys do what you want to do. So, um, everybody. 
uh, Nathirius and I are like on different floors. Mm -hmm. But I'm like near the stairs, okay. like at the top of the stairs on the fifth floor. And so he's probably like near where we entered at a wall area or whatever. So yeah. we're in different locations. So can we both not see her? Um, if you move into a certain position, you did see the cover she was behind, but since you're really, really high up, you can't see her because she would have to be peeking out for you to see her. Um, okay. though, uh, Olivia can, uh, she, he, you know what cover she's behind, but you don't see any of her, I guess, would be the way to put it. You can also shout to Violet or Dismiss or anybody to do something. Um, can I move in to yeah. a location where I can see her? Mm -hmm. Of course. Then I would like to do that. Okay. You uh, sprint to a next piece of cover um, and you can see her torso. And some of her face and the writhing mass of snakes she seems to be focused on profit currently and does can i see either of her arms uh like i said you can see her torso so you can probably see her right so or left her, arm. okay yeah then i would like to take a shot at her arms all right go ahead and roll It's a D6, if I remember. God, why do I have that? This might be short. Yeah, let's go with a D6 for now. That works. Uh, I rolled a 5. Okay, you do 5 damage. Um, I'm basically trying to make it so she can't fire her bow, so... Okay. Um, so, 5 damage with a well-aimed shot okay so for everybody who doesn't know um i guess you would do actually four damage because of her armor but for everybody who doesn't know um every attack hits no matter what it always hits so yeah lovely you pull back the string of your bow and a light sound. She's too focused on profit. It hits her in the arm, and she and the snake start flailing around and hissing. She breaks it and looks in your direction. So, I can't see her. No. Maybe but not. if I shot the story up above her, would it, like, make any rubble fall from the roof? Um, you could try. Well, then I'm going to do that. All right. You fire around, and just so it is a little bit random, I'll see. All right. Um, Olivia, you see, you hear a loud, and a bullet hits the top. This is an elephant gun, by the way, everybody. It's probably larger than a 50 cal, and hitting that, yeah. This is a very old ruins. Um, massive, uh, massive amounts of rocks crumble down. Um, I think it's a D8 of damage. Um, that's what it says. It says it's a D12 um, for like large amounts of rock but I'm going to go with a D8 since it's just crumbles. Um, one and one. I'm using roll dice all by so. Jesus. All right. It damage. It crumbles on her. Uh, massive rocks um, crumble down on her. She hisses. It's almost like she's wailing. And you can almost hear sobs as she's pushing the rocks off of herself bruises start to form and you can almost hear the pain dismiss prophet and um 
Violet. Violet is just going to stay close. She really doesn't have anything to do. She is kind of just support. Um, Dismas, on the other hand, is going to shoot his flintlock pistol. Because he is a cheeky little bastard. So, let's see. Um, killed weapon. Yeah, I think that's what it is. D6. Alright, Dismas. Three damage. So, Dismas doesn't really get too much of a good shot, at, shot as he dives behind cover and uses a grape shot, which is essentially a bunch of little um, steel balls shooting and ricocheting across the marble and flying into her. So, shotgun. Uh, yeah, essentially from a pistol. Um, and she kind of wails as she's stuck um, in the rubble. Um, Prophet's going to run up to the next floor. I'm going to say that's both of his turns because um, uh, just getting up and close to her. Hmm. What to do, what to do. I'm going to say she'll get... You guys have gotten her to second phase, so two attacks each round, and a movement. Um, she's going to do a shot, and then she is going to do something else. She slith slithers up to the third floor. She seems too keen on running away from Prophet. She gets to uh, somewhat close to you, uh, Olivia, and uh, Violet. And she looks at you. Now, I need you to make a save of willpower. Um, so, could you roll... What's your willpower? My willpower is 9. Okay. Uh, roll a d20. I got a nine. What's your willpower at? Nine. Oh, <laughs> you lucky bastard. Um, so how saves work in this game, everybody, is you have to roll under or equal. He rolled just right on the dot, so he is fine. Um, you glance up at her eyes. They're gorgeous. Perfect. Golden. Thing. And then you look back down. No. Don't look Apparently, I'm not smart enough not to look in her eyes. No, 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 no. You, you <laughs> did get a peek, but you make sure to lower your eyes down to her torso or her neck. Um, and you make sure to not look in her eyes. As beautiful as they may seem, they are just a trap. You felt sleepy, almost paralyzed, but you shake it off. Um... That does not count as an attack, because it is just legitimately looking at you. Um, she will shoot, and then she will do something else. Let's see how her shoot goes first. A2. I'll call that uh, into you, uh, Olivia. So you take two damage. Uh, a golden arrow. Oh with turquoise uh, like light feathers pierces into your chest so there you go um, can you write that down somewhere or do you need me to by the way I can write it down Okay. so you take two damage the next thing she does is slithers over to violet extremely it doesn't seem like it's anger uh, you can't really look into her eyes and you can't tell but there's motivation she senses something and she's going to constrict her which is a d13 damage every single round lovely seven damage um I would like to pull out the spear. Okay. And stab 
at D. Did we ever have a name for this creature? Um, call it a Gorgon, but her name a is Gorgon? Medusa. Yeah, I knew it. It's, okay. it's Medusa. I was right. Well, I, did, I didn't know if we were calling it Medusa or if we were calling her by some other name. Um, so You could call her Sexy Snake Lady, but whatever. <laughs> Gorgon is the official name. Okay. Well, I would like to stab at the Gorgon okay. with the spear. Um, first, let me describe what happens to Violet, because this is going to hurt like a son of a bitch. Oh, wait. Did she die? Oh, God, no. Hold on. Let me see. Killed Violet, you son of a bitch. Oh, wait, no. She didn't take fucking 13 damage. I'm stupid. She took 7. I was like, the fuck? I didn't kill her right away, did she? Um, no. Medusa, Medusa, the Medusa, slithers towards her and quickly wraps around in a spiral, holding um, Violet's face and forcing it up to look at her. And you can hear <coughs> of bones slowly breaking. And you can hear Violet gasping for air. She takes D13 every single round that she is being constricted. Prophet, at this point, yells, Violet! And the Medusa frowns. And a tear drops from her face, and she tightens more. Oh, and you want to stab her. Go for it. Roll a D... Roll a d8 for me. I got a six. Awesome. Cool, yeah. So, roll a six. You stab her. Uh, do you want any particular place to stab her? Ex I mean, except the head, obviously. Um, I mean more to try and get her to, I don't know, get off. Violet? Okay. To I got something for kind that. Of... Yeah, sure. Um you dig the spear in the in the Gorgon's long python tail where her waist and her um tail start to come, or like where her waist starts to go into the tail, and you shove it in and start to wriggle it back and forth, tearing it out and in. She screw she sounds like she's going to scream, but she can't. And she unwraps herself quickly and pushes herself back up against the wall. Something surges through you. Bloodlust? Maybe. Adrenaline? No, you've had adrenaline before. You want to stab her again. You really want to stab her again. Like, you, you can't help but stab her again. <laughs> I don't like the sound of the spear anymore. <laughs> you don't want to let go of the spear. Your grip tightens. <clears throat> Sounds like an everyday event for me. <laughs> Murder. <laughs> um, Violet is on the ground. She's not moving. She doesn't do anything. Dismas is on the bottom floor. He can't take a shot. He can't see anything. Um, is there anything you want to do? Um, or drag, sorry. Um, so, I'm on the fifth floor, and she's on the third floor. Um, yes. So, if I moved down to the fourth floor, could I see her? Yeah, you definitely could, at that point. Okay, well then, I'm going to move to the fourth floor. Okay. And take aim. Roll your D8, my friend. I don't have any um, dice app open. <laughs> I can roll for you. Hold on. Yeah, can I just roll if you want that? Uh, D10. D10. Um, if it's good, then yes. <laughs> uh, well, I just rolled a 6 for from a D10, so... Mm, if you, you, you can... A 4. 
Uh, I'll 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 take. Um, Let's go with the GM's die roll. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh wait. Oh yeah, this is backward or backwards one, isn't it? What do no. You mean? Or like lower numbers better. No, 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 no. Uh, this is okay. damage. So. Okay then, yeah, I'm let going me, with six. <laughs> let me look at her health real quick because I haven't actually calculated what she's at. So when they get their chunk, oh, you're just like, mm, if she's too low, I'm just gonna not let you do any damage. <laughs> no, 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 no. I treat things fair. Minus eight, minus three, minus six, minus six. Oh, that's that's fine. That's okay. What is this one at eighty health too? <laughs> you guys are not battling a kraken, no. But you guys have her <laughs> below something or other. I can't tell you. Below so, so she below is in her other. next phase. She gets three attacks and a movement. Oof. She's absolutely and... pissed. She is not happy. So I hit yes. Mm -hmm. Uh, oh, yeah, you do hit. Um, sorry. Um, a loud thud echoes throughout, and a bullet shreds into her viper python tail, or maybe her massive hair, and chunks blow acro across the wall. She holds her face, and she's sobbing. <clears throat> I'm glad I'm far away. <laughs> Um, um, Prophet <laughs> gets up to the floor finally, and Dismiss runs up a floor. <laughs> so, there you go. Check her bag for healing potions. I know she can make that kind of stuff. She probably does, but it would take your movement to search through it. So, and Have one of the NPCs do it. We're better than them. <laughs> <laughs> We're more important. So, oh, right, it's her turn. Nice. Um, cool. Let's go with two shots and a thing. Um, I don't like the sound of that. How about we not? <laughs> you, you know, like, after I took my shot and hit her in the face and she started crying, I'm just going to say I, like, magically hid behind a wall. And so then she can't shoot me. <laughs> Convenient. <laughs> um, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna die this round. Health, Olivia. By the way. Two. Uh, it's at two. Well, I have four HP, okay. so. So you take another three damage. So this. Well, means... then I'm at negative one, so I'm fucked. <laughs> so negative one. What this means is that one minus one from your health. I mean, uh, minus one from your strength. So you have minus one strength. So I have... How many? How seven many strength. strength now. Okay. So, there you go. Um, the next shot also hits you. So, six damage. Oh, oh well. Shit. <laughs> uh... <laughs> up um tell me what health you're at and then i can just describe the scene i am at zero health oh wait i have no health left yeah you're knocked the fuck out uh, you're not i only out. have four hp and her first shot took two health that shot you said took three. Oh, are you really okay so yeah. um <laughs> unless four hp means that i have more than more health because 4 HP is worth more than 4 points, but me, I doubt it. Um, just a second. I'm reading. <laughs> I just want to make sure I didn't kill you. Oh. Um, I'm going to be nice <laughs> because I don't want you to die. You just killed my character and you want to be nice? No, 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 no. I didn't kill you. 
It says if it, is if it is reduced to zero, you die. But, but, I am going to say, as much as she wants to kill you, you are at zero, and you are knocked out, and you are out of combat. Damn, there goes my plan. <laughs> um, three arrows just hit belly, torso, and one right through the throat. I was going to say, and belly and drops. torso. Like... Oh, oh, she's dead. Head. She stops breathing. Olivia, um, just so you know, you are not dead, but everyone else does think you are dead. So, it's our turn now, right? Indeed. Um, Olivia, you are going to get something from this, and it will be what I am going to call an injury. Uh, or Besides a... an arrow in the throat? Um, the, the point is, the, the arrow in the throat, that is going to cause some really bad complications. Just so you know. Are you gonna be a mute now? Anyways. I think I'd be okay with that. <laughs> I bet everyone wished I was a mute. Okay. Olivia <laughs> gurgles on the floor, clutching at her throat. And blood leaks out. The Medusa suddenly kind of covers her mouth. And you can tell her long fingernails start to dig into her face. And she will not attack next. She is actually kind of angry at herself. So she won't use so, her next attack. My turn. Yep, indeed. Okay, so since I'm on the fourth floor and they're on the third floor, I should be able to get down to them in my move, correct? Oh, yeah. Okay. So, um... I'm going to... Uh... What's his name? Prophet? Or Prophet. Yes, I almost called him Church. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to yell at Prophet to search through her bag for any clearly marked healing potion label things. Okay. And tell, it, tell him to give it to um, Garland. Violet. <laughs> Violet first, because then she'll know what to do next with healing stuff for Netherius. Right. And oh my character's name's Olivia. Okay, thank you. Okay, and um can I get close enough to to the Medusa to use my red oil? Uh yes. Yes you can. Okay, I'm gonna use my red oil and it can affect me, can it? Um, anyone moving or standing on the oil must make a deck save, so yes. But it, it, it read it closely, it disappears in a harmless flash if ignited, and that is essentially a free action to ignite it. So if she slips, then you can essentially make it disappear and then go for it. Okay, well then I'm gonna do that. <laughs> Alright, let's roll a d20 real quick. Let's see if she slips. Yeah, she makes it. She slips or survives? No, no, no. She, she survives. Um, as you spew it. Um, yeah, I rolled a one, dude. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, she definitely makes it. Um, I don't think a snake would be able to slip on an oily surface. Uh, yes. Essentially, what I was going to go with is, like, as she, like, tries to move, maneuver... Um, she can't. Like, her, it's, Just like, too slippery, and she, like, falls on her face or something. 
but that that does not happen. She so the oil her. is beneath her. So if she tries to attack, does she still have to make like another dexterity roll to nope. try unless, him? Unless no. she went for coiling up against somebody, her upper half is perched on her python tail. So as long as she doesn't move her lower half, she is fine. She can keep taking shots. As she can't do, um, she can't like slither or you know that sort of thing. Okay, well then, can I take my dagger and my pistol, jump over the oil, like stab into her to like stick on and then shoot her point blank? Um. <laughs> You're gonna have to make a deck save. Ooh, okay. Fall on your face. Then I'll just slide up to her tail and shoot her in the tail. Um, Come on. You, that means you would still be on the oil, like. Slide Shut up, up, Angelo. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, what do you want to do? I'm gonna flip, flip and slide his way up and then slip and fall in the space. Do you want to make the deck save or not? Yeah. Yeah, I do. So, <laughs> what are you going for? Um, I guess, like, stab it into her shoulder. So, are you doing the whole jumpy thing? Yeah, jump over the oil, <laughs> stab it in her sh shoulder, oh. and I can, like, Oh, my, <laughs> why are you saying oh no did you already roll for me yeah. you have 11 decks <laughs> you rolled a 19 <laughs> so I'm guessing I was supposed to get low yeah but you told me it wasn't the backwards one no 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 for damage for damage it's not backwards because you guys automatically hit all the time for <laughs> Why do you confuse me so much? I'm sorry. I, I, I didn't mean to. Well, I was planning, since apparently I'm going to die, I was planning on jumping, stabbing my dagger into her shoulder so I would be hanging there and, like, put my feet on her tail or whatever. Just, like... The guy thinks he's going to die and he doesn't even have an arrow in his throat. Yeah, I'm just, I'm totally going to shoot Medusa in the throat. Yeah. Um, but, you know, that's not going to happen because you laughed at me and that means I'm failing. As you go to go for the jump. I you, trip on a book. You run forward and just as you're about to jump, your foot catches just the beginning of the oil and as you try to jump you notice wow my foot is going backwards that's not right <laughs> and you fall right <laughs> on your face <laughs> in the oil <laughs> you fell on your face <laughs> could, could... Could I try one thing before I die? <laughs> what? So I fell face first on the oil, and I'm guessing I slid. Yep. So, am I close to her? Um, you're about five feet away. Yeah. So could I touch her at all? No. Like with my feet? No, you cannot. Uh, no. Oh, I was totally going to be like, can I just push off her with my feet and, like, slide away and not die? <laughs> Is there any... Um, okay. I, I'll give you that. Sure. You Yay! Push, drag, you push off of her and slide away. I want you to make another deck save. You're the one with the dice. Christ. Oh, I hate you. I, I flip and hate you. You have rigged these dice. I know it. You can't see me right dice. now, but I'm pointing at my screen at your little icon. So you roll the 14, and that is over because your dex is 11. <clears throat> As you push and slide off of her, you go, Oh, I am going way too far than I need to. And 
I fall off the stairs or something stupid like that. <laughs> you fall, you almost fall off the catwalk. But you catch it. I can picture you falling off the balcony, <laughs> just like slowly, <laughs> just <laughs> slow motion, you like falling backwards, downwards. Just like freaking out. Okay, like, no! if I ever have to do anything with dexterity again, I'm not. I'm just not. <laughs> <laughs> it's freaking sucked. Um, you are currently hanging from the balcony. Or the 20 foot catwalk, but you slid off. So, at least you mm. can take vault damage because that fall damage would kill you right away. Like they're <laughs> okay. Um, question. Uh, what are the NPCs doing? <laughs> uh, <Dismas>. Laughing, probably. <laughs> Dismiss is chuckling, and he is running up the stairs, and he grabs you by the hand and pulls you up. That is Yay! Crazy. I have an arrow in my throat. You're falling on your face. They're just laughing their asses off. Um, Prophet, <laughs> he is not laughing. Prophet has tears in his eyes. He goes in the medical bag. Ruffles through it and pulls out a red elixir with a cross on it. He pours it down <laughs> um, Violet's throat. And, and she instantaneously she, dies. She throws off her mask and starts coughing. And her bones seem to start to reset. And you hear, can hear the cracking as that happens. She can't do anything this round. Um, but she gets up and she is looking through her bag um, getting things ready as she sees um, Olivia gurgling on the floor um, not breathing anymore I'm pretty sure I've bled out by this point yeah you're you're you look dead you look I'm no longer gurgling I'm just dead you essentially look dead yes um, she runs over to you and she starts breaks the arrow in your throat um Pulls out the arrow, <laughs> flipping you over and like making sure like to wrap it up, pouring a health potion down your throat. You breathe. Well, and I guess you it? could just pour it on the throat because then it just go through the hole and in. So Ooh, that would burn so much though. <laughs> yeah. Um. I guess no profit doesn't get to. Olivia doesn't get to. You were hanging off. You don't get to. Dismas had to pull you up, so. <laughs> he gets one action left. <laughs> Fuck. Grape shot, go, Dismas, go! Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, you have rigged dice, don't you? <laughs> he rolled a one. <laughs> he fired, and then he missed, and then he fired again, and then he missed again, <laughs> then he had a popsicle, then he took a nap, he, then he woke up, and he fired, and he missed. And he points his, like, flintlock pistol, and he says something under his breath, probably super profane, and really against gorgons, and female creatures in general, and he fires. Um, <laughs> Thank you, so Grape shot. All the bullets hit around her except one, and it just goes across her cheek. 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 Um, her turn. Awesome. I totally thought you were just gonna be like, click, and have the gun just not fire at all. No, he did one damage. You know, that's, that's cool. Woo! Oh, God, dude. Oh, you wanted to fire now. at all? Like. <laughs> How am I going to distribute that out? So, five, two... You're going to pile them all on me again? I'm going to end up with another arrow in my throat? <laughs> I don't know You get one arrow Is the guy who killed me already? <laughs> um, what's your strength, by the way, Drag? Ooh, uh, 18. Oh. 18? Two arrows hit off. into you. You get... Oh, you're just like, oh, he has more health than him. Let's give him all the friendly little arrows. Screw you. you friendly little arrows. 
I take how much? Eleven damage. So what? He, he, he had eleven HP. No, he had six. No, I have six. So, Shut up. Minus the the rest of that from your strength, and then your strength is at that. You're not knocked out, by the way. You are still fine. Um, she absolutely pissed off that you uh, essentially her life off of her because that is just really disrespectful. And she puts two arrows on her bow and th- th- one in your chest and another in your chest. R- <laughs> And you feel them both sink into your rib cage. It hurts like a son of a bitch. Really does. The snakes coil around her head and hiss towards you. She also, um, let's see what kind of. Oh, that's nice. Strength thir- thirteen. Great. Woo! Um, one more arrow. I'll put it into dismiss. Um, oh, I thought you were going to say misses, and I was going to be like, yes! Um, yes, miss. I know. Um, she kind of moves herself, pulls back the bow, and shoots one into him, clipping his shoulder, and him kind of stumbling back. Your guys' turn. Um, do I get to go? Uh... Or am I still like you're, you're kind out. of coughing yeah, up no, 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 no. blood as I? Um, tell me what you want to do. If it's attacking, not really. But if it's something else, sure. Well, I was I either leaning towards place. like uh, <clears throat> knocking like three arrows and loosening them at her, yeah, there's, or there's no way to pulling that. my halberd off my back and charging at her. <laughs> it, it, you want to go for that spear? Not spear is calling your name. And you want to stab her. There is a deep, deep vengeance. She needs to die by your have... hand. You want to dig that spear into her, but you can't get up and do it. You grab your spear, and you're practically crawling your way over. Can I just throw the spear at her? <laughs> I have a feeling this spear is like the one ring and just like it controls you. you know the more I use it, the more addicting it is. Yes. Um, make a wisdom series. Okay. So roll a d20 for me. <clears throat> 11. Um, what's your wisdom? My, wiz- my will is 19. Or ni- not 19, fuck. 9. Uh, yeah, no, you fail. You don't want to let go of the spear. It's too precious to you. You don't want to let Who go. Who said I was letting go? I was throwing it. <laughs> it, that, that, it means you have to take your hands off it. So you can't. No. You can't let go of your baby. Why, why can't I just get rid of the fucking spear? <laughs> oh. Okay, um... So, melee is not good for me, so I'm gonna, you know, get my elephant gun. <laughs> I'm useless at this point. And I'm gonna try and shoot her in center mass. <laughs> Alright. Oh, there we go. That was Yes! Uh, a nine. Which Ooh, is... yes. Eight damage. Eight damage, yep. I have been forgetting to take armor in account, so... <laughs> Damn. <laughs> so you guys have been getting practically a lot of pluses. What would I have needed in order to throw the spear for the will? Uh, To roll equal or below your will. Oh, I have to... Oh, fuck. Yeah. Lovely. Um, you shoot her center mass her left rib cage explodes <clears throat> off and she <sighs> pulls 
her side of How the is she chain. still alive? Um, <laughs> She's she like the creature. check of her head. Um, it, it, I don't even know at this point. Um, she looks down at the big giant the gaping, gaping hole, hole you put in her body, and it essentially took off like a good amount of her left rib cage and stomach. <laughs> And she holds it, and she just starts rocking back and forth, and tears start to fall from her eyes. So, can I try something? Uh, yeah, go ahead. What can that? I try, like, talking or connecting to my sea dragon friend? Yes. Yes, you can. Yes! <laughs> Suddenly, as you think about her, so for everyone who doesn't know, um, Drag had gone up against the Leviathan. If you want to picture it, look up pictures of the Kraken from Evolve. It's essentially a giant Cthulhu monster that I made, except it was a female with um, an exposed um, chest. God, I feel like a perv saying that. <clears throat> Anyways. She was naked. That, you know, uh, essentially a giant naked kraken. Um, there you go. He essentially gave her an honorable death as she seeked power and strength more than anything. Having a hero kill her, she put a rune on Drag's chest. She was absolutely huge, and he stabbed her in the chest, leading her to put a mark on him. Her spirit is with him forever now, to put it lightly. And to have a Kraken soul in you, it we'll see what comes of it. Even Drag doesn't know. Um, you call her. And the moon is high in the sky. You can feel the moon's rays on your back. And you hear, Yes? What do you need? You called. Ooh, you don't know how excited I am right now. <laughs> I don't want to know about that, you nasty. No, not that. Shut up. God, guys. <laughs> I get it. It's 2 o'clock in the morning, but come on. <laughs> it's basically 2.30. It's 2.20. Oh, my God. <clears throat> it's cool. Ooh, so, um... Um, I need your help. Can you yeah, provide I any? I no, I was thinking, like, <laughs> like I was just going through dumb phrases in my brain, like, what's up, home slice? And stuff. I was like, no, I'm not going to say something stupid like that. <laughs> of course I'll help you. And you feel almost like you're in a warm embrace. You're eyes open, but they're suddenly not yours anymore. Electricity crackles off of your skin. And it's almost like webs start to grow between your fingers. And that's all. Um... You can have one extra action now. Oh, yeet! Ooh, could I launch a lightning round? Almost or is that too as much? it comes naturally. All the power gathers up in your hand. Electricity crackles. The webs seem to be more efficient. Your eyes like solid blue lightning. Anger fuels you. Rage. You can crush her. You have the spirit of the Kraken, the Leviathan, Luna, the moon. And you put your hand out, and electricity just shoots and envelops her. I'm gonna roll a d13. Yeet!
This is... I didn't know there was a D13. <laughs> this is so cool. <laughs> um, alright. She had 13 health. That's great. Had? Yeah, had. You rolled a 13. <laughs> so she has one. She... Yeah, I'm gonna give her one because I want to do one last kind of cool thing. <laughs> between profit and her. because you have to I remember want... armor she has armor oh, so yeah, minus that right. thank got God. you um, <laughs> she puts her hands up and her body convulses and starts taking weird shapes her arms start to flail and the snakes start to bubble and boil on her head and she falls backwards the red oil, by the way, is now dispersed. Because it got lit by the lightning. <laughs> yep. Um, Prophet slowly walks towards her. And he envelops her into a hug. Blood covers him from her torso. Her cheek. The bloody matted hair of snakes. And everything else. And he gives her a hug. You can hear a slow sobbing. Tears fall from her eyes. And at this point, he looks in them. And you can see for the first time, it's not glowing yellow or gold. It's a stark, snowy white. He lets go of her. Plants a kiss on her cheek, pulls the blade from his back, and swings. Thud. And her head falls from her torso. And it rolls along the ground. A out of her quiver, a small note falls. A small band is wrapped around it. A small rose tucked. And as you look at the notes on the wall, they start to spell small certain things in common. Birds in the sky is the only thing she got to write. But it fits the first sentence on the paper. He picks it up off the ground, pulls his hood back, and he holds it to his chest. Tears form in his eyes, and he can't help but, a, but let a few out. He takes a deep breath and drops the paper to the ground and walks away. I'll be upstairs if you need me. And puts the blade back in the sheath and slowly walks up the stairs. After recovering you, Olivia, Violet goes running up the stairs. What are you guys doing? And, uh, it's looting time. I'm grabbing the golden ukulele. You grab the golden ukulele. bow. Grab her bow and her arrows. Does anybody read the note, by the way? I would like to. <clears throat> um, you pick up the note off the floor, and you read it. It seems to be a poem, maybe a song of some kind, lost in time. Words in the sky carry these words for me. Life tasted sweet, and let me live, let me breathe. Love hurts so bad, but still save my soul. Flowers of a brighter past, they bloom so free beneath the sun. Memories, I want to give them to you, so you can see what we left here. When all hope bleeds out, what remains is doubt. Should have left it all for you for tomorrow. And a small trickle of blood from her is on it. It is signed, Prophet.
if anybody knows those lyrics to the song I just mentioned, freaking props to you. Because that is obscure as hell. If anyone knows Metal Gear, there you go. But I hope I touched some hearts out there. I didn't touch hers. She's dead. Way to kill the mood, man. Way to kill the mood. I know, right? Um, other than looting, I will tell you guys what you get. Um, I'm not. I didn't write a full gear list out. I'll write one and give it to you guys so that you guys have a full gear list because I feel like running this again because Into the Odd is one of my favorite games ever and I feel like it's a niche of mine. I've run it probably like five times and I'm still not bored of it. It's really, really fun. Um, but yeah, is there anything you guys want to do before we finish off the session? Could I, like, when we're done looting or whatever, could I go give the ukulele to the jester dude and uh, get my little item? I about forgot. Um, yeah, of course. Um, Yeet. Trailing along, you can hear a whistle and a sh drum of strings. I'm guessing you found it. And he hops down to your floor. <laughs> you walk. Ooh. I just had, like, the worst idea ever. Hmm. I could totally just, like, shred on the ukulele and then just smash it to the ground. <laughs> I don't know if you really want to do that. But... No, no, of course not. No, I don't want to do that. Um, I would like to make another will roll to get rid of the spear. <laughs> <laughs> roll a d20. I got a three. Okay, you dropped it out of your hands. Now, make another roll to leave it behind. I, I got another three. You sound like you're lying. Are you 100% sure? Do you want me to take a screenshot? <laughs> Send it to you? You sound pretty worried. I, I don't want the fucking spear anymore. <laughs> Okay. You have this overwhelming urge to hit him again with it. <laughs> um, you drop the spear. I'd totally just pick up the spear and sell it, it like, with a cloth or whatever. Well, I'm pretty <laughs> sure that if I picked up the spear again, my character wouldn't be able to drop it. Oh, well, yeah. with a cloth. Just, like, no, no, wrap no, no, no. it. If he cloth. drops the oh, spear just... again, he oh, will just... never be able to drop it. He will never be able to use another weapon again. Oh, okay. You're good, then. <laughs> I much <laughs> prefer my bow and... Halberd. Um, yeah, same. Class, close range. Kind of looks at the ground and goes, "Dude, what are you doing? This thing is awesome. Fuck yeah!" And he picks it up off the ground. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna like eye him warily and slowly back up. <laughs> just like, don't, don't get anywhere near me with that. I swear I will shove this halberd up your ass. <laughs> So, Jester. He looks new and he goes, ah, Fine. Fine. All right. Whatever. Thank you. Here. You're going to love it. And if he, it's a spear, I'm going to stab him with it. <laughs> and he kind of like reaches behind his back, waving his arm around a few times. <laughs> ah, there it is. And pulls out. It, there's obviously no bags on his back or anything, so he was literally just like pulling this shit out of thin air. <laughs> and he pulls out a blood scroll, or and a crimson red skull, a scroll. God damn. Skull. Uh, oh, it's scroll. A, it's a crimson red piece of paper with black writing on it. It's a greater arcana. Shh. Be quiet. Don't tell Whoops, Adam. was I not supposed to know yeah. that? Don't don't tell Adam what it is. I mean, don't tell Connor. He, he doesn't get to know. Ooh, I'm gonna Google this greater RKM. <laughs> You're not gonna you like find it, friend. 
Okay. And he suddenly, as you blink, he disappears. And he is gone. Um, so I turn around and I <laughs> look at Netherius straight dead in the eyes and say, what the flip is this? <laughs> uh, Olivia has no fucking idea what that is. Okay, I ask a general question to the everyone about if anyone knows what or yeah. <laughs> Currently, um, oh, I forgot to even say the setting. Crows flock in black feathers disperse and they fall <laughs> along with the rain. Memories forgotten. We will leave it here for tonight. But I want to know what the stupid scroll does. <laughs> Do you want to read it? No, I feel like that's gonna like kill me or something. Nobody knows what it is. It's Greater Arcana. None of your no, nobody would know what it is. Hmm. It it's either something really good or really bad. I he is a jet if you read it. Um. It will do nothing. I'm pretty sure that if you read it, you'll really enjoy what happens to you. She said it will do nothing. Uh, you know what? Just listen to what uh, Olivia says. I don't trust what Olivia says. I like your answer better. It will do nothing. And she's all like, you'll enjoy it very much. <laughs> exactly. Oh, we finally got to do that during one of our podcasts. Okay, uh, fine. I will read it. Um, I don't even have to make a, I don't even have to make a will save for one of the crows. One of the crows just dissolve into freaking acid. So basically, when I read this thing, it will just murder something randomly. Blood scroll. Well, it's it's my scroll. You can't have it. Um, blood scroll. Targus mu target must pass a will save, or they have their blood turn. Their to blood acid. turned to acid. They take D six damage, ignoring armor each round until they pass the save. So, do I get to choose a target, or does it just happen? No, no, no. It chooses a target. I just thought a crow would be. I don't know. Useful. Well, since it's my scroll, you can't have it. No, it's my scroll. It, 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 my it, scroll? You give it to me, fucker. It is drag. It is drag. You got the bow. <laughs> scroll. You got the bow. That's, that's like, a really good weapon. Just trust me. Um, oh, I'll, I'll, I'll trust you. She shot an arrow through my throat with it. <laughs> um... <laughs> Um, Olivia, I'm sorry. You are mute. You can't talk anymore. Okay. <laughs> like, Good for I, me. I couldn't think of anything else, so you're mute now. Um, Prophet is proficient in sign language, and he can teach you, if you would like. I would like. That is what he was trying to teach to Medusa, and he didn't want to tell you guys. Um, I totally know how to do sign language, too. It's called you stick up your middle finger. <laughs> um, I can do that just fine. Uh, I guess one last touching moment before we end off with the crows fluttering around and taking their spot. Rain falling, fog moving past, and the full moon shining in from the roof. Prophet hugs Violet close. Then he cries. So does she, but hers are more tears of just stress, sympathy, sympathy and everything else. And this is where we'll end it tonight. And no, you are not going to ruin it, Drag. I'm leaving it there. Everybody... I hope you have a good night. I tip my top hat to you. And by the way, I stream once in a while as um, Killy Glitch. Just I'm putting it out there in case you want to know. I doubt you want to. This is like a two hour and 30 minute stream. Anyways, I hope you have a good night. It's 2.30 right now. I love all you guys. And, and by the way, um, 
Again, Leonardo Roca Marquez, thank you so much for commenting. Thank you, Rebel Role Players, and um, thank you, Lily, by the way, if you are listening, because you are the only person who actually likes the page, and that just means a whole damn lot to me. Thank you, everybody, for tuning on in. This has been Chillingly Bored Into the Odd. Ciao, everybody. Bye-bye. <laughs>